What's up, you guys? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again to say what's up to my divine feminine to let you know exactly what the tea is for your divine feminine daily bread for this week. I'm just jump, I'm jumping in real quick. Um, I just finished the cancer reading. I wanted to come in and show you guys some love and light because, as you know, I'm about to start rolling out the... Um, the end of the month I mean the April readings my bad the April readings so um I will be recording the monthlies so you guys will not get another um divine feminine daily bread from me until next week so I'm just about to do a quick spread um for you guys for the week and hopefully this resonates so if anyone would like to book a personal and private reading with scorpion red tarot you can do so by clicking that about tab there's a hyperlink down at the bottom that says scorpion red tarot as simply book me if this video resonates and if you would like to give a love donation you can go ahead and share some love and light my description um box has my paypal information let's get into the reading Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today for the Divine Feminine, for the Daily Bread. Please give us guidance for the Divine Feminine for, what is this, March the 25th through the 29th. Thank you so much for all of the blessings and the, and the lessons and all the reflection and the self-growth that we've been doing throughout this time. Father God, we have been doing the damn thing. Like, seriously, on a big, major level, we've been doing it. Father continue to guide us continue to open up our heart and bring us freedom i really feel like like autumn like the fall time i feel like the fall time is when we're really going to see love that's when we're going to be falling in love like seriously like right now we're just going through this process of self-development and self-growth and just kind of breaking in you know, you know, like when you get a new pair of shoes and, you know, you got to break them in because we're this new person now. So we're just getting broke in and getting ourselves acquainted and accustomed to this newfound bad. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. Newfound bad bitch because I'm sorry. We, we Look, this is the bad bitch committee around here. We're the billion dollar bad bitch club around here. Every last one of y'all that I have done a personal private reading with, we have all figured out a business plan for some entrepreneurship before we get off the phone, haven't we, ladies? If y'all had a personal private reading, hit that eye. Put that hand up emoji so I can see you, so everybody else can please tell everybody that we is the billion dollar bad bitch club around here. Alright? Father, thank you so much for creating that site. We are on a path, Father. And I ain't even finished praying and I'm pulling my cards out because I'm feeling good, Father. We are on a mission. We are on a mission. Fuck the competition. Okay? We are on a mission for greatness, for love, light, and abundance. We are happy, Father God. We are feeling just... Oh, I'm like literally getting chills right now, Father. Please continue to shadow us. Continue to be our shadow, Father God. We know you are there. We know you care. We know you are pulling us through this. Please help us learn how to navigate these waters and to continue to spread the love and life and pay it forward to the sisters that need our help. Freedom. Come on. Come on today, Father. Cycles. Yes. Come on, Father. Give us a message today. Thank you so much for our healing. Thank you so much for those freedoms. And thank you so much for the chakras. Yes, and that's the crown chakra. That is that crown chakra in that purple, honey. Y'all have elevated yourself. Like, y'all understand. <laughs> and that crown chakra, chakra is about understanding. It's to help you to heal from personal losses and grief. Like, you guys are an amazing, amazing, amazing group of women. And I just want you to know that I love you. And I want you to know that God loves you. And y'all are... Oh... Hang with two of wands again. <laughs> Y'all are not even tripping on no love right now. You just like, look. I just want to know where my life is going. I just want to see what's ahead of me. I just want to make sure. What is this? To keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. Oh. This, this might need to be for somebody. Somebody need to keep their temper. Don't drink the poison. Uh-oh. 
Do not do things you know are bad for you. Oop. Girl, la. I'm a fiending for you, baby. Going crazy, crazy. Hold on. Some of the divine feminists say, ain't nobody freak like me, but. Ah, pop us. Mm mm. Who is pissing y'all off? Somebody trying to get on y'all nerves. The world. Mm. Mm. Somebody not trying to close the cycle. Someone is not trying to close the cycle. And you guys, all of these are new cards, except for the good tarot deck. All of these are new cards, you guys. And thank you guys for the love and support, because they would not be here if it was not for you guys booking and sending love donations. So thank you guys so much for all of the love, vulnerability, and beauty. Yes, girl, you a bad bitch. Hold on, how my bitch Kaya said? Good pussy bitch call. Good pussy bitch ball, okay? Good pussy bitch call. Good pussy bitch ball. Okay? Got that yum yum sauce. Okay? My bitches got that yum yum. Yum yum make them dumb dumb. Okay, girl. We reloaded. Boom. We busting off on these niggas. What? 2019 is your year, my dear. Compassion. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Forgiveness. Yes, you gotta forgive in order to live, baby. You got to forgive these bastards. You got to forgive them because they don't know what the fuck they doing. You got to pray for them because they don't know. Find out what's going on with that heart chakra. You just need to get here right now. That little Duval pull up playing in the background. Well deserved reward. Clarity of belief. I know that's right, baby. All right, so let's see what we got going on for the first part of the week. Some select tight on my desk. So what's going on in the first part of this week, okay, you guys? This is the tool of fire. You guys are looking out into what is in your view before you. And um, you guys are just kind of like taking a brief pause and you're hesitating before you take any fur further movement because you're just trying to decide if it's okay for you to move forward or not and right now you are focused on your freedom and I truly think like I, and I said before I feel like a lot of you guys are possibly thinking about moving y'all are just moving um I feel like you just want a new environment you want freedom I feel like a complete clear slate where don't nobody know you you know, like, don't nobody know you. Can't nobody place no judgments. Ain't nobody got no opinions about nothing. Just like, you know, some of you are thinking about moving. It says, live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. Yeah. I feel like so much has happened. So much has happened. And some of y'all could have been dealing with an Aries or y'all might be an Aries female. And y'all are just like, look, you know. Y'all have just never been one to kind of restrict or restrain yourself or hold yourself back. You've always just kind of been a type of person that is just fiery and very passionate and just kind of does what you want to do. And I feel like this, this love and this situation has shown you a lot about yourself and a lot about people in general. 
you know, and you just want freedom. You want to be able to start and create somewhere brand new where can't nobody say anything to you about anything. And you're not looking for love right now. That's the last thing in your mind. That's the last thing on your mind. And I feel like anybody who is trying to communicate with you right now, it might be a, pan, a, a, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that's trying to communicate with you. And I don't feel like you want the communication with them. I don't. <laughs> you guys don't want to deal with them. It's saying to keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. I feel like there's people communicating with you that you don't want to... You don't want nothing to do with them because you're 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 moving on from this situation and you have moved on from the situation from them. And I feel like because this person keeps communicating with you like this, this is why you're just like, I want to move. Like, I just want complete freedom from this situation. I don't want this motherfucker to know where I live or anything. Like, I see y'all changing your number. You do not want this person communicating with you at fucking all. And it's almost getting you to the point where you are getting angry. You are getting angry. Now, let's see what this says. Number 20. It says the true meaning. Being pushed. Running out of patience. Feeling like people about the people running around around you are not cooperative. Invasive, invasive companions and bothersome circumstances. The need to keep your temper cool and in check. Remind yourself you will go further when you harness your power and use it at the right time. Which is, by the way, not right now. Okay? So right now is really not the time for you to whip ass and take names. You know? Right now is the time for you to plan. Make a movement. Killers move in silence and in violence. Do you hear me? <laughs> Killers move in silence and then violence. You understand what I'm saying? I'm I'm a, I'm gonna keep my mouth closed because I don't want you to know my moves. See, that's a problem when people that you see the little fake internet gangsters. They like to talk a lot. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm not about to tell you what I'm about to do because what I'm about to do, you're not even gonna see it coming. And when it motherfucking hits your ass, bitch, you gonna be sitting down there seeing stars. Okay. So I'm going to keep my temper, okay? And I told you to stop fucking messaging me. You ain't listening. I got you. I got you. I got you. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to stop this world. There's someone in your element that's trying to stop your world from changing, okay? They don't want you to change. They don't want you to move forward. This is also a card of movement. They're trying to stagnate you moving. Like I said, y'all are moving the fuck from here. Y'all don't want this person to know where you live. You don't want this person to know anything about you. And this person feels that you're moving, that you're moving, and they're trying to stagnate your growth. They don't want this chapter to be completely closed. Vulnerability. Open your heart. Allow yourself to be tender. You, my friend, are not, hmm, I feel like this person wants you to open up your heart and be vulnerable to them, to stagnate your growth in the movement from you getting away from the situation, but also, um, aside from that, fuck them, okay, it's not about them, it's about you, you continue to block and stand your ground with this person, this person right here, this motherfucker right here, you continue to block and stand your ground with this person. This person right here, which is yourself, you need to open up your heart and allow yourself to be a little bit more tender and vulnerable to the situation. Not to this situation, about the growth of your situation because you are smart enough to know how to deal with these people now because you're going to get your freedom and no one's going to stop you from that that's why god is telling you look bitch don't crack on this nigga just yet don't do it just yet i got some cooker for you and you got some cooker for him too okay we're gonna hit them with the one two three punch bow 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 okay we're gonna get them all the way the fuck out of here just just be patient be patient and you know be patient it might be some delays because this motherfuckers when you're trying to be great motherfuckers don't want you to be great they don't want you to be great the devil be working hard, but we work harder, okay? But you're not going to be open and receptive to what I really want to give you, to the blessings that I really have you, if you are not 
being vulnerable enough to receive it, you know? So I feel like keep your boundaries, but also open up your heart to new experiences so that you can be receptive to them. Because as you can see, you see this mermaid, this male mermaid, he's coming to save her. He looks very gentle and caring, very strong. She's like almost resting in his hand. She's had such a hard and rough journey. She's safe. Compassion. It says you pray each day for greater compassion. A new self is born, drawing new people and experiences. Dear Lord, help me feel ever deepening self-acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. You are right now in a point of, just like I said, very compassionate, very loving. God wants you to open up your heart and be vulnerable and be receptive to the new people, the places and experiences that are being afforded to you. Because regardless of what these people are trying to do right here, they cannot stop your world from turning in your favor. They cannot stop these cycles from closing. They cannot do it. You have already risked your life for this freedom. A lot of you have risked your life for this freedom. A lot of you are in this place of balance. A lot of you are in this place of understanding. Like I said, that purple, that is that first chakra, the amethyst, right here. Violet stone. I understand it helps with healing of personal losses and grief. If you guys do not have crystals, maybe y'all need to get some crystal healing. Get you some, you see these purple stones? Amethyst. Y'all need to keep these around your neck. It helps you with understanding and keeping yourself grounded with that crown chakra. The knowing, the freedom. And not giving a fuck about it. You don't care about what people think about you. You have been praying each day for greater compassion. You've been trying to be compassionate and at the same time having enough compassion for yourself. But you don't give a fuck about what people think about you moving. I'm moving, not you. What you mad about me doing what I need to do for myself? You are drawing new experiences. You are a new person. A new person has been born. And it's drawing you to new people and experiences. Dear Lord, help me feel ever, this ever deepening self-acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. God sees you, baby. God sees you. God believes you. God needs you. Hear me. God sees you. God believes you and God needs you. That's all I'm going to say. You are going to experience a well-deserved reward. Well-deserved reward. Well fucking be fucking served. Y'all are fucking amazing. Y'all are motherfucking amazing. 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 A fucking amazing. Woo! Mmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting chills. Like, I, I, I wish y'all could see. I have fucking chills, y'all. Queen of Fire, y'all coming through. Coming through. Fiery. Fiery. And like I said, some of you guys might be an Aries or Sagittarius. Okay? Y'all might be an Aries, Sagittarius, or possibly a Leo female. Or just embodying that. Listen, the Queen of Wands is beautiful. She is sexy like she she knows she's sexy. She knows she's that bitch. She's a go-getter. She's driven. She drive people crazy. She drive these men crazy the way she runs circles through their mind. What? She knows cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. You have, like I said, again, that's that crown chakra. That's that purple. You have come to a point of understanding of your own self-guided intuition. You are a special unicorn, honey. 
I know there's butterflies. Oh, there's butterflies. Honey, this beginning is about you. 2019 is all about you. <laughs> you are loving the new cycles and the phases that your body has been doing. Oh, your body, listen, you have been opening up spiritually, baby. Your body ain't even the same no more. You're not the same person. <laughs> I told you, you the two of wands. You have been seeking. You were surveying the land because you like, bitch, I'm gone. I'm gone. My intuition has told me that this cycle of my life in this phase is over and it's time for me to move forward. Oh, honey, I'm trotting along with my beautiful hair. My beautiful hair. Okay, girl. That ain't no yaki. That ain't no yaki. What's it called? Yaki, yaki. What's the fake hair called? The cheap shit. The yaki, the yaki, bitch. This Brazilian, this is Brazilian. This is what, 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 what's the, what's the other good here? This Malaysian, this Malaysian, that's a Malaysian. This, this Malaysian, okay? This a Malaysian yaki. This Malaysian yaki. I'm sorry. Let me shut up. I don't even know. I don't. Even, I don't know nothing about no fake here, y'all. I'm sorry. Listen. I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all surveying the land. You said I'll be damned. I'm surveying the land. I know. Um, over yonder, over there. Mm hmm. They said they got some Wakandanese men over there. Uh uh. Mm -mm. I want me a Wakandan. One of them big dick Wakandanese. What? Hold on. Mm -mm. I'm about to get into the. What? I'm about to find out some little dancing rituals. I'm about to call them to me. Hold on. What? I need me a big dick warrior. Okay, bitch. Come on. Pop pussy form. Pop pussy form. Pop. What? Like I told you, you bought that action right now. <laughs> like you done found some new moves. Look, you say honor the cycles of your body. Girl, hold on, bitch. I'm a Wakandanese warrior. I done came out here to slay. I ain't come out here to play, bitch. I'm a special fucking Wakandanese goddamn female warrior. I need to go back to the motherland, nigga. Where my bus at? Okay, beep, beep. Who got the cheese, the keys to the Jeep? Room. Okay, Missy. Beep, beep. Who got the keys? Room. I'm driving in the wind. Top down, loud sounds. Where's my pen? Rhythm sound now. Look who it be. It be me, 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 and Timothy. Look like it's about to rain. What a shame. I know I fucked them lyrics up. Whatever. Oh, Missy, won't you maintain? A oh, ficky, ficky, ficky. I can't stand the rain, head ass. Hold up. Guess my window. I can't stand the rain, face ass. Hold up. Guess my window. I can't take the pain, face ass. I'm moving on, bitch. Guess my window. I can't stand the rain. Look at me. Guess my window, bitch. Y'all is gone. Y'all is gone. You say, oh, I ain't drinking the poison. I already done, I already done drunk it before. I had a really bad belly ache. Belly ache. I was shitting for weeks, bitch. Okay. You ever had a really fucked up belly ache and you just bitch, bitch, just shitting in your, in, your, in your ass supposed to just like, I just don't want to live anymore. I don't want to be here no more. I don't even want to. I just don't want to. Like, I just, I don't want to. If you ever like got the bubble guts that bad with your, your asshole, it's just like. Butt burn. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. Mm hmm You done drunk something before. They had your stomach fucked up and fucked over. And you know now, I am not drinking that shit. That shit tasted, it tasted horrible. And it came out horribly. And I was fucked up for weeks. I was shitting for weeks. I'm not doing it. Okay? So this means do not drink the poison. Avoid toxic situations, people's, or relationship. Do not partake in what you know is not best in you. End in harmful, harmful relationship, changing toxic habits, or improving your nutrition in a healthier regimen. Cleaning out from your home and from your pantry of substance, foods, and even fabrics that can poison your personal environment. Changing unhealthy, harmful thoughts and beliefs about yourself and refusing to speak ill of others choosing to encourage support and lead through kindness and strength and i'm also saying like honestly i feel like people that is coming to you um bringing up situations and talking to you about this shit from the past you like 
I don't want to talk about that motherfucker. And that's why y'all are like being told to keep your temper, to keep your temper. You see this motherfucker right here? Round, round, like a dungeon dragon. I ain't even seen a cat that looked that evil like that. These motherfuckers about to piss Miss Pussy off. They about to piss Miss Puss and Boots off. Because you got your apple bottom jeans, your boots with the fur. You running around being her. And these motherfuckers is mad about it. And you about to put your boot scraps on my ass. Okay? Because you like, listen. You try to tell your friends, stop drinking this poison. Stop listening to this motherfucker running back. Telling me shit about what this person said. I don't want to hear this shit. I'm not drinking the poison and I'm going to advise you not to neither. Stop coming to me with this bullshit. Girl. What is this? The page of coins. Uh, listen, it's just like, I, I don't, listen. Stop feeding into the shit that this idiot is saying. This person is toxic. This person, I don't care what they say, how much they brag about their job and how much they got their self together financially and emotionally and they're offering something fucking solid. Bitches lies. It's lies. You know it's a lie. I know it's a lie. Why are you drinking this poison? I feel like your family and your friends, y'all sitting up there listening to this shit. And you're like, what is y'all talking about? What is y'all, why is y'all feeding into this shit? Put the cup down. Don't drink the Kool-Aid, bitch. Do not drink the Kool-Aid. Um, motherfucking, uh, 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 what's it, oh, Jane, Jim Jones? Jim Jones? He trying to Jim Jones, y'all. What is y'all doing? Is y'all part of the cult? Y'all listening to Y'all don't stop. Li li this, li listen. Listen. I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. I'm focusing on me. Grace, loveliness, integrity, a form, and spirit. Y'all, and she's bad. Like, y'all are too beautiful right now to ever lower yourself to the stupidity. To someone that's, 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 that's toxic and they ain't offering you nothing? Who? Where? Who and where? Huh. I am too beautiful for this shit. My pussy pops so severely, it's scary. And as soon as I stepped up my vibration and realized how beautiful that I was and stopped drinking this poison and stopped poisoning myself, my body, my mind, and my spirit with this shit. Oh, bitch, y'all can't tell me nothing. I am beautiful. I am me. I am she. Girl, you is not about to do me at all. I'm going to tell you what I will do, though. I can practice some forgiveness. Healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is knowing that this alone will open me to the new. Y'all are going through healing and acceptance and forgiveness. You forgive this person enough to know this person is not going to change. And I don't need to continue to drink this poison. I forgive this person. I accept this person for who they are. And that is truly forgiveness. And knowing people that are not going to change, they don't need to change. You need to change. Hmm. I'm too beautiful for this shit. I have a very strong clarity of my beliefs. Okay? And who is number one? I am, bitch. There goes some butterflies again. I am, bitch. I'm flying. Okay? I rebirthed myself. I was in that silk cocoon. I was wrapped up. I was napped up. I got me some real deep breaths. I got me some real deep self insight. And I did some real deep growing. And I'm good. I am so good. I have a very strong clarity and belief. I know how beautiful I am and I believe in myself and that is all I need. That is all I need going forward. I don't I don't know what to tell y'all bitches about this. Um, Whoever these people is coming to y'all with the bullshit, they're like I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry that you are still entertaining this shit but um, I'm going to leave you there with that because um, yeah, that's that's not for me anymore. I don't, I, don't, I don't subscribe to that type of fuckery anymore. I just don't and I won't. And I can't. And I'm and I'm just not. So yeah. Sorry for y'all. Sorry for y'all. Let me get y'all one of these cards. Since I haven't used this deck yet, ladies. This is the psychic tarot. Let's 
Let's get one card from the Psychic Tarot for each spread. Thank you so much. Give the divine feminine one last word of guidance from the cycle tarot deck in regards to this week for their daily bread. Temptation. Y'all rejecting that temptation. And what is this? Trapped in fear. Okay. So this is what I'm going to say. So this is what I'm going to say here. In regards to this temptation of a verse, you guys are completely, like I said, y'all found this freedom and y'all blocked out the temptation. You're completely free of this and this does not resonate with you anymore. Completely does not. And I'm happy for it. I'm happy for it. However, I do want to say some of you guys are trapped in a little bit of fear because because it's just like, I feel like you guys are trapped in fear in regards to y'all not moving forward. Because I feel like so many different elements are really trying to kind of like assert their authority over you. And trying to like give you knowledge and wisdom and stuff. Because they see you about to move on. And they really don't want you to move on. And these motherfuckers is just like, it's just a cycle. It's just a phase. Everything is going to get back together. Like, I talked to your old friend. I seen them. And they love you very much and all this stuff like that. And you're like, hold on. Hold on. How the fuck can I move on and I can be progressive and I can get where I'm at with my own family and friends? Y'all are being sucked into this poison. You know, and I feel like you guys are trapped in fear because it's like, you know, I'm moving on regardless and I don't want to have to separate myself from my family and friends because they are being manipulated by this idiot. You know? They are like they are not rejecting the temptation of this fool. And they're trying to like lure me in. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, I, ge I genuinely feel like I, and, 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 and y'all are receiving a well-deserved reward because y'all do have the clarity in regards to your belief system. You know exactly what you want. You're like, don't come over here with that bullshit. Do not come over here with that bullshit. I have compassion and I have forgiveness and I know that I'm drawing in new experiences. I know that it's coming to me. And as long as I forgive this person for everything that they have done to me, I know that that's opening up the door to newness for me. And I, I'm, I'm confident and I'm comfortable in that. So it's like, stop listening. I know how beautiful that I am. And the only vulnerable vulnerability that I need to open up myself to is being open up to new experiences, okay? I am not going to be vulnerable and weak to this idiot no motherfucking more. This person just wanted to suck all of the beauty out of my life. That's what this person wanted to do. And why? Because I am not being vulnerable to them anymore and I'm moving forward and I'm opening up my heart and my life to other things. That makes me more beautiful to you. Now you can see my beauty and shit. Fuck you. I was always too beautiful for you. I was just too stupid to recognize that. I should have never dealt with you in the first fucking place, okay? Because you weren't asking me nothing. You weren't asking. You were not offering anything to me. Excuse me. You were not offering nothing to me. You were asking for everything from me. And now you're trying to stagnate my world. You don't want me to move forward. You don't want me to move forward to have greatness. Guess what, bitch? I'm moving on with or without you. And if I got to move on with or without my family members that you're trying to manipulate and pull down into your fuckery, I will do it as well. Because I'm going to keep my temper with y'all motherfuckers because y'all are not worth my energy. But don't think I will not pop off and crack your ass. Stop coming to me with this bullshit. My family and friends, y'all need to stop fucking talking to this nigga. Stop feeding and stop drinking the poison and stop trying to motherfucker trick me into that shit okay i feel like like the divine feminine like don't even trust some of their family and friends no more because i feel like they've been trying to 
almost tricked the divine feminine into meeting and talking up and meeting up with this person because this person just wants to speak to the divine feminine and the divine feminine like I'm about to cut all of y'all motherfuckers off because I want freedom from this cycle and if it means me getting rid of some family and friends then so be it off with y'all head the fuck too y'all can go too I love who I am. I love who I'm becoming. And I am not stopping for nothing and nobody. Y'all can kiss my fucking ass. Okay? Hmm. I don't want to talk to this motherfucker no more. Because this person is trying to delay my movements. And this is a fucking hating ass bitch. And I don't love him no more. And this person never loved me. So stop asking me to stop where I'm going. To communicate with this person. Blocked return to sender. And guess what? I am about to block y'all too. Because y'all don't know how to fucking listen. When I tell you to stop bringing me fucking information about what this person said. I don't want to fucking hear that shit no more. Fuck. <laughs> like I said. Two of, two of wands. I'm moving. I'm moving. The fuck? I am the queen. I determine how shit runs around here. Can't none of y'all tell me shit. Y'all answered to me. Last time I checked around this bitch. Yeah, I might have forgot who I was. I might have forgot my power. But guess what? Bitch is back. I'm back, bitch. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hove. H to the O-V. I used to move snowflakes by the O-Z. And even back then, the niggas used to call me. See? <laughs> what? Hot as a rock. I love y'all. If this video resonated, if y'all know the lyrics to the songs that I was trying to sing, and I fucked them up. Put them down in the goddamn car. Because I know I don't fuck up Missy. I don't fuck up Jay-Z. Bitch, y'all gonna fuck me up. Listen, I love y'all. Y'all look out for y'all monthly. I'm about to start recording them this week, okay? So y'all look out for that. Um, If y'all are a Libra or a Cancer, y'all make sure that y'all check out y'all bonus reads. Ooh, cancer, cancer, cancer. Y'all do me every mother shocking time. I don't know why y'all. Cancer, why y'all don't like me? I just feel like y'all don't like me. Y'all be putting me through some work, y'all. Y'all be like, look, Rez, I need y'all help. Please, please. Can you dig a little deeper? Can you dig a little deeper? Yes, and I always do because y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all, but y'all work me to death, honey. Y'all be working me. Working me, hey, you working me, pop pussy, working me, pop pussy, shake the titties, working me, working me, what, what, go working me. Okay, I'm gone, y'all. I love y'all, love and like. And this video resonated, hit that like button, hit that share, hit that subscribe. If you want to book a reading, click the about tab. The link is down there in the bottom. I only do video readings. If you do not want to get on camera, okay, I think you need to find another reader. Or you need to pay for the video add-on, okay? You will not get to answer me additional questions. You get to answer me the one or two questions that you pay for. I do the private video upload and then that's it, okay? So there will no be conversing back and forth. So if you guys do not feel comfortable with getting on a video chat with me so that y'all can see the cards and can know why I'm saying what I'm saying, then you need to pay the $10 add-on for the video upload and then once it's uploaded that's it okay so i love you guys um if this video resonated please um like i said hit that like share subscribe button the paypal is in the description if y'all want to give a love donation and i'm apologize if i'm like coming off any type of way about the private readings because i have been a little bit frustrated with like a few people trying to hunt and track people down and it's not just been one person it's been like three different incidences recently where after people book readings it's like they don't want to conduct the reading the way i conduct the readings you know and it's, it's, it's just been a lot of drama so after three attempts of me trying to reach out to you to do your reading if i'm not getting no response from you the money is non-refundable and i'm moving on okay because there are other people that are waiting for their readings and y'all have to be respectful in regards to my time and that this is a business and y'all can't you know kind of 
keep me suspended okay so please be respectful you guys please make sure that y'all are communicating with me i only do video 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 i'm gonna repeat video readings so if you do not have an instagram or if you are not willing to create a google hangouts to do the video reading do not book with me there's a thousands of great readers on youtube that you can book from okay i only do video readings okay thank you guys so much love and light peace